Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Joey here with Turtle Laboratories. On today's episode, we begin the build of a proper racing simulator using one of our SR1 Mark II chassis. We've been building rigs for a number of years now, and our shop rig is always in a state of disrepair since we use it to design new parts. Well, today that changes. Let's get to it. Our chassis features a telescoping steering wheel mount with a pivot at the end to mount the most common steering wheel bases. The entire assembly can be adjusted up and down as well. For this build, we've chosen to go with the Fnatic ecosystem due to its reliability and support in almost any simulation software. Most of the components that make up this chassis are mounted using these tube clamps, allowing infinite adjustability along the rails of the chassis. This goes for common components such as the seat mounts, pedal tray, and shift mount, as well as some other accessories such as amp mounts, volume control mounts, etc. Our seat rails are made of quarter inch steel and very sturdy. They're also very adjustable and we have yet to find an aftermarket seat that won't mount them. Unlike many sports cars, our ship mount comes equipped with a proper cup holder to keep you hydrated for your longer drives. No racing simulator is complete without at least one base shaker. We'll be starting this build with four Dayton BST-1 base shakers capable of handling 50 watts each at 4 ohms. We choose these over other brands due to the affordable price and excellent performance. We install these base shakers with mounts compatible with our SR1 rig, but we also offer them for extrusion rigs as well. Links for those items will be listed below. Ironically, the factory holes in these shakers are perfect for tapping a number 10 24 hole so you can thread right into them. We settle on an NRG Innovations FRP310 bucket seat for our sim because they're very good bang for buck, they're comfortable for long sessions, and they look great too. To power our shakers, we've developed this nifty little bracket to hold four knob sound NS03G FR amps, which after much research are the perfect pair for the BSD shakers. Links to these will be listed below.
assembled amp assembly gets mounted with the same tube clamps as everything else, but due to the design, our mounting bracket is very versatile and can be mounted to just about any, any other simulator as well. For speakers, we chose Logitech Z906 surround sound speakers. Each satellite speaker has a 1 quarter 20 threaded hole, making it a perfect speaker set to mount to a simulator using small rig articulating arms. This allows easy placement to really dial in the speaker position. The Z906 speaker set comes with a great little control console that allows you to tweak your speakers on the fly. The only problem is it gets kicked around a lot, so we designed this simple bracket to hold it in place. With a little squirt of Windex, it slides right in and locks in when it's dry. I needed to get the sim down off my fabrication table, so since our integrated monitor mount is so sturdy, we can lift the entire rig with it using a chain fall. At this time, the simulator weighs in at about 250 pounds. To help move the rig around when finishing the rest of the assembly, I just slide in a set of our simulator dollies. The displays we chose for this rig are 27 inch curved displays capable of 1080p at 160 hertz. For feet, I chose to install a set of our AT-AT feet, making for a very sturdy foundation.
We hope you've enjoyed the build so far, and we hope to see you back for part two, where we finish up with some add-ons that should enhance the immersion for this setup. And then we'll take it for a spin. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.